Hi, BCE Bobcats, Miss Fields here. So this video is a little bit different. Most of my videos, in fact, all of my videos until this point, have been about my wig, my wildly important goal, and I've been at all the different parks. But I've also talked to you about lead measures. And even though your wildly important goal is very important, it's the thing, that's what you're trying to reach, that's your goal, that's your challenge, and that's very, very important. But you're never going to reach that wildly important goal unless you work on your lead measures. So your action steps that are going to get you there to your wildly important goal. You can set a wildly important goal but unless you practice toward that wildly important goal and you do things and put things in place and do those things to reach that wildly important goal you're not going to make the goal so I couldn't just start off in a park and walk five miles just right off the bat especially since I've never done it before my wildly important goal was a stretch for me it wasn't too easy it wasn't too hard it was a stretch it was something I've never tried before and I can't just go out there and walk and do it all at one time, right? I have to do some things, some action steps, some lead measures to put into place in order to achieve that wildly important goal. So one of my lead measures is to ride my bike around my neighborhood. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing, I'm riding my bike. I'm working on a lead measure today. So I worked on my lead, I work on my lead measures most days during the week before I go on the weekend walk for five miles. And I ride my bike for five miles. And the reason why I chose that lead measure of riding my bike for five miles is because it's easier to ride a bike for a longer distance than it is to walk. And so I know that riding my bike for five miles is going to build up my stamina. It's going to make me stronger. It's going to make my legs stronger. I'm going to have more cardio that way. I'm going to be able to work on my stamina and my strength and my length of being able to do those five miles on my walk by working on five miles on my bike. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm working on my lead measure and I just wanted to share that with you. So if you're working on 85% pass rate on your iReady or you're working on your multiplication tables in the next three months you want to go you want to know your zeros all the way up to your fives you're not going to just know those the first time right you're going to need to put in some lead measures so your lead measure if you're doing your multiplication tables or your addition facts or your division facts you might be saying that in the next four weeks you're going to know your zeros ones and twos right and then the next four weeks you're going to work on your threes and maybe your fours and then by about four or five weeks, maybe you'll know your zeros through your fives. You're not just gonna go from zero to five. So I can't just walk five miles like that, right? I have to practice. I have to work on my lead measures and that's what I'm doing today. I hope you've set some really great lead measures and that you've been working on your lead measures, working your way up to your wildly important goal. Have an awesome day. Relook at that wildly important goal and those lead measures and see if they make sense. See if your path or your steps or your lead measures or your action steps are going to reach that wildly important goal for you. And you might need to readjust them. Take a good look at those today. And I need to get off on my ride. It's a beautiful day, so I can't wait to get out there. Good luck on your wildly important goal and revisit those lead measures. Bye. Have an awesome day.